uh, on your lab, it specifies what knee position you want to be, have your patient in. For right now, I'm just going to show you everything with knee extension. Okay, so for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, our zero starts at 90. So everyone take a look at your little, your little plastic gonies. And if you look on the outside, there's some red numbers on the outermost circle mm -hmm. where it says 0, 20, 40, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. Those are the numbers you're going to be looking at for these measurements. Okay, so if you get a measurement that says 130, that doesn't make any sense. So you're going to look up and say, oh, that's actually 40. Oh, I have the black number will be 90, but we want the outside red number of zero, okay? So, and uh, our fulcrum is the lateral malleolus, so you're going to be on the lateral side of your patient. Okay, so I'm going to take my fulcrum to the lateral malleolus. Now, my stationary arm is going to line up with the lateral midline of the fibula, but I have to make sure that it points all the way up to the fibular head, which we haven't really palpated yet, but it's up here. It's easy to pinch. Don't pinch too hard because there's a nerve behind it, so your patient will jump. Yeah. <laughs> I was tempted to do that. I decided to be nice. Okay. So I have to make sure my stationary arm stays there. Now, the moving arm's a little bit tricky. So we're lining it up parallel to the fifth metatarsal, but the fifth metatarsal is actually going to be down here. So we just have to make sure it's parallel to the fifth metatarsal. And then the other tricky part is it's very tempting to just say, oh, I'll line it up with the bottom, parallel to the bottom of the foot. Not the same thing as the metatarsal. And your measurements are going to be a lot more accurate if you do the fifth metatarsal. Okay? So it's easy to find that fifth metatarsal tuberosity, and then I'm going to go down from there to the fifth toe. So there's my fifth metatarsal. So right now I've got my fulcrum, my stationary arm, and then I'm going to switch my grip a little bit further. So if this is zero, mm -hmm. sorry, wrong finger. this is zero, what do you think that is? 15? About 30, 35. Yeah, it's going to be closer oh, yeah. to 30, 40. Okay, so again, we're looking at the outside red number. So the first outside red number is 20. So if I go to where the black number says 120, that would be 30. Okay, so I'm going to preset it at, I'm going to go to 35. Okay, and again, I'm going to say, okay, there's my fulcrum. There's my stationary arm. Let's find my fifth met head. Line it up. I remember what it's like. And then I need to make that. Parallel. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a little more than we thought. Yeah. Yeah, I went a little too far. So, yeah, we're closer to about 50. Which normal is about 40. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> 40, 45, plus or minus 5 is always within normal. Limits. Yeah, but if, if 45 is normal, 50 is the same. So I can line it up parallel to the fifth metatarsal. Okay, so this is her resting position. Okay, but I want to measure dorsiflexion. So remember, we always do passive and use our eye gony to start. I'm going to take her passively, and it may take a little bit of force, okay, and put her up in the dorsiflexion. Now, I'm guessing she has about five degrees, maybe ten. Okay, so I'm going to preset my gony to about 5, aka 95, if you're looking at the black numbers, but if you're looking at the red numbers on the outside, it's 5 degrees. Mm -hmm. So I've got this all set up. Um, and actually, let's get the switch. And then if you don't mind, like, swing it around. You didn't say the cord short. The other closet is today. Our, um, <laughs> not our partner. Not our peers. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with this? It's heavy. It's making noise. I feel like sucking yourself. It's okay. 
We all do. <laughs> Sometimes I'll find my, there's like a big faculty workroom, there's like a bajillion other people and I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh, I forgot the other people are here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my stationary arm is in line. Okay, and again, you're going to kind of have to palpate and find that fifth met head and then kind of remember where it is since we don't have three hands. And I preset where I think she's going to end up being, and I'm going to push her into it, and I'm trying not to touch the patient, and yeah, we're at about at five degrees. <laughs>